Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a different kind of safety pin bracelet. A while back I showed you one that I learned how to make in Girl Scouts. It just looks like this and there's really not much creativity to this. But now I have learned how to make them like this. And it's all thanks to this book that I got. It's Safety Pin Bracelets by Klutz. This is a book that came out just this year and it comes with all the materials you need to create a bunch of different designs of safety pin bracelets. Here's a table of contents which shows all of the different bracelet designs that this book teaches you how to make. And they're pretty awesome. I'm going to show you how to make this particular bracelet which is called the merry-go-round. In addition to the materials that come with this book, you'll also want some tape and a pair of scissors. There's a ruler in the back of this book if you need to measure your string. My wrist is about 6 inches around, but I cut my string to 10 inches just so I have enough left over to tie the knots at the end. In the case of this bracelet, I'm using two strings. To set up your work area, rip off a small piece of tape and have your strings ready. As you can see, I taped both pieces of string down down onto the table that I'm working on. Make sure a little bit of string is hanging over the ends because then you're going to take another piece of tape and fold them down just to make sure that the string isn't going anywhere when you're working on your bracelet. Now it's time to gather the safety pins and place the beads on them. For this bracelet, it recommends that you use 10 small safety pins and 10 medium safety pins. Then you're going to place one big bead and one bugle bead on each small safety pin and two big beads, one small bead, and one bugle bead on each medium safety pin. To do this, take your safety pin and open it up. Then just place the beads right onto this point. Be careful not to poke yourself because it's super sharp. Place the bugle bead on and then the big bead on. Now you can close it back up. If you're worried about it coming open when you're wearing your bracelet, you can add a dab of glue or some clear nail polish to the end of the pin before you fasten it, but it's never come undone for me, so I don't do that step. Then go ahead and make more of these, as many as you need. Then for every medium pin, I'm putting on a green bugle bead, a small blue bead, and two of the purple big beads, and close it back up. Of course, make more of these too. I put beads on eight of each size, and I'm going to see at the end if that's enough for my wrist. If not, you can definitely make more, so it's not a problem. You'll also need the pack of green big beads and blue big beads. You'll need about 40 of each, depending on how big your wrist is, of course. Just a quick note, if you happen to run out of bugle beads, safety pins, or glass big beads, you can get them from any craft store, or you can get more from Kluds.com. Now it's time to string the pins onto your bracelet. Keep in mind that this side of the pin is called the head, and this little circular part is called the tail. So with the head of this first medium pin facing up, I'm just threading the string through this opening in it, and then just set it down and thread the other side of the string into the tail. It should look like this, and then you can just pull that safety pin all the way to the end of the bracelet and it's time to thread on some beads. Now I'm placing two green big beads on this side of the string and two blue big beads on this string. Move the beads all the way down to where the safety pin is. Then grab a small safety pin and this time you want the head facing down or the opposite direction of the previous head. The first string I'm going to thread into the tail and the second string I strung into the head. Move it down. Now grab two more green big beads and two more blue big beads. Since we put the green big beads on the first string last time, we're going to put the blue ones on this time. Then of course the green big beads go on the second string. Here's what the bracelet should look like so far. Go ahead and repeat the steps that I just showed you until the bracelet reaches your desired length. I'm just going to finish this up and show it to you when it's done. Here's what my bracelet looks like after using eight of each type of safety pin. Finally, it's time to tie the knots at the end. I'm going to just untape one side of string at a time and then tie at least double knots on each side. Cross them and just like you're tying your shoe and then make a knot. Once you're sure that your knots are secure, go ahead and cut off the extra string. Then here's the complete merry-go-round bracelet. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in learning how to make more designs of these safety pin bracelets, be sure to check out the book. You can of course find it on the Klutz website or at your local bookstore. You guys have a great day. Bye.